The day has come. After crashing Farming Simulator like five times trying to get this to work, we have the most realistic game in Farming Simulator history for me anyhow. So we're going to start with the 8970, taking it back to the farm piece by piece, which is something I have not done in a long time because I love Shop Reset. Sadly, I think that was what was crashing my game, so we had to not use that. And I also completely forgot about the snow. That's going to be wonderful. Ow, ow, ow. So, I'll see you guys when I maybe get this back to the farm without destroying anything. Oh, right, I have to drive at a realistic speed. We'll see ya. You guys like my truck? This should pretty much take care of the... Oh, come on. Now it rains and melts the snow. Whatever, we're still going to... Goodbye, snow. Let's see what we can do here. This is way overpowered. I should not be able to do. You know what? It's all right. It's all right. Good morning, guys. This is the official start of the roleplay. Everything's realistic from here. We got all that snow cleaned up and out of the way. I am painstakingly driving back some of our new machinery. We have a silage chopper here in the old 87, and I love this setup. It looks great. Don't have any good silage wagons though, so we might just have to use something else. Don't totally know yet, we'll figure it out later. Either way, this is not the tractor I'm going to be driving back because gosh darn it, it is so slow. So, I will get some of this machinery back and I will talk to you guys then, but I really, really, really do like this tractor. It is really good. It looks really good. And also we have one, just not processed. <coughs> oh, excuse me guys. Okay, so... It is spring, we have some land, and I feel like we need to get started today. Let's see, no need no chainsaws, don't need tools. I think today it's time to get plowing. Now, we have not bought a combine for this fall yet. As you remember, it's our first year starting, so this is what we have. This is our newest tractor. Yep, so we're going to jump in this. Actually, we can pull off this door. And we're going to start immediately plowing with this really nice new ripper. Even though there's still snow in some spots, those are mostly the snow piles from us plowing snow. So I'm kind of splitting this one up as I'd like to have it. I didn't turn on dry off. Um, so... I'm not doing all this 40 acres as one field. As I mentioned, we're not that big of a farm. We have a 16 row planter, but we farm mostly in the evenings and mornings because we have other full time jobs. And as you can see, it is currently 7.01 a.m. and I am plowing. So that in itself ought to tell you something about how we operate. I could get this big old machine running on another part of that field. So we got the 8970 right here. It is a beautiful beast, and it's going to help us a lot this year, I think. Okay, we're not going to be able to turn that way. I'm fairly sure it's going to help us quite a bit this year. Our goal is to not jump over these piles of snow crazy bad. Ow, that's kind of painful. Better ignore that. So, we need to also head down in this direction. Oh man, I'm just ripping through here. You know, it's kind of a road, but not really. Are we going to count it as a road? Well, I didn't realize we were already going as fast as we can. So yeah, let's count this as a road, because it's a road. We could realistically drive 24 mile an hour through here. Should we? Maybe not, but we could. Man, I really like this machine. Okay, getting out in the grass. It is going to work really well for us. This is our biggest tractor, even though the other one's newer. This is the biggest machine we are running right now. And here we are. We have a pretty big field to till up today. So I figured it was best that we get right to work here. There is quite a bit of stuff to do now. That almost broke something. We'll have to be careful about not doing that in the future. Uh, I'm going to blame that on the fact that we're new to farming. What a day. What a beautiful day to be out on this 
beautiful, beautiful county line spring day. Okay, you gotta cut over there. It is just an amazing day, having a lot of fun here. Man, it is a good day to be doing this. Especially this track. So everybody, it is a beautiful new day. I'm pulling out of crop production services here. Uh, we have got to look around this morning. It rained a little bit, like enough that it's too wet to till. All of our stuff is still sitting out in the field, but it's too wet to actually do much of anything. So I figured we would uh, drop by Caroline Farm Supply and see if there was anything, because we are still looking for harvest machinery, obviously. Oh. Okay. Okay. I like where this is going. We'll take a look around, but I might have to ask about that gleaner. That looks good. I just have to see if there is a good bean head for it, though, because I've been looking for, like, a... I don't know if we want to go draper or not, but... And then I kind of need a smaller corn combine, kind of like what's sitting right here, but I don't know if that's for sale or not. Uh, it looks like these are the headers for them. Honestly, I'm interested in both of them. So I, I'm going to go talk to the dealer real quick, see if we can't work something out. Because honestly, both of those look pretty darn good. And we need combines, because I guess my grandpa's burn up, so we, we didn't get left with one. So, he said that we just needed to go pick up the header. I mean, we already signed the paperwork and everything, so all we need to do now is go pick up the headers. Uh, we're going to take the 7720 header first, and yeah, that is a Macdon 35-foot draper back there. So, there's a little bit of a difference between this these two combines. Or, sorry, I'm at 8820. There's a bit of a difference between these combines, but, you know, we needed a smaller one and a bigger one. I would like to have had, like, a 9000 series, but I'm happy with the greener and the 8820. We're going to go ahead and run this back to the farm immediately. Because I, I'm just sad that it's too wet to plow and disc and everything, because we need to be working ground. I mean, it's, what is it? Uh, March? Yeah, it's March, so... Okay, so it may have seemed like a really quick decision on that combine, but I looked at it for like 25-30 minutes and then talked it over because it, it wasn't really something that needed to be discussed forever. I mean, it's not like we're broke completely. We have quite a bit of money and we needed a combine. Um, they were both very good machines. Now, the only thing I don't know about is that header for the uh, 8820, the 20-foot, 20 I think it's an 820 header. It's funny, 88, 20, 20 header, whatever. You get the idea. Uh, that header, I don't know about. There's a couple of things, but there's this guy. His name is Brian. He's one of my best friends. He's over, he works over at the other machinery dealership, so I'm going to ask him to come uh, take a look at it after we pick up the MacDon header here and grab our combines, because I haven't even got those yet. They're still sitting here. So I'm willing to bet you we can make it down this road if we're careful with the eight row header and we're going to be as careful as possible because this is a really nice eight row header that's actually too new for this combine so it has an adapter kit on it and all but it's going to be really nice when it comes to shelling corn so let's pull out here put it in road gear and We're off on a very slow journey back to the farm. So I'll see when we get there, and I'll probably check in with you when we get to 8820 because it's gonna be a little bit. Looks like we're running here. Let's jump up the ladder here. Okay, Brendan you picked that up. Oh, the view is not great. We're just gonna. Oh, it's not bad. I can see all the way around. That's nice. So, we got the gleaner back. Also, I forgot, guys. We need to grab, like, grain carts. I forgot about grain carts. We need a semi. I think the semi is going to wait until later this fall, though. But, you know, we do need to grab a grain cart and a semi before fall. Otherwise, we're not going to be in a very good condition. The grain cart, not so much, I guess, even though we kind of need it pretty badly. But the semi, we definitely need a semi. So, we're going to... Run this back to the farm, and then I'll go check with the other dealership to see if there's anything we need there uh, as far as some ice and grain carts.
and get that head trick out. All right, guys, we have all of our machinery back, including the combine. Now, I want to run over here and see if there's anything necessary that we need. Um, like, what is that there? That is the exact type of combine I was just saying I was looking for. Okay, hold on. I've got to see this. 643 corn head, a little small, but it's fine. It's probably all this thing can pull. Let's look, it looks like it's in super good condition somehow. Okay, tires all look good. Feeder house. That is a nice machine. 10 series. Hold on. I don't really want another combine, but we'll have to talk about that. Um, yeah. This looks like the bean header for it. It is a 625F. That's new. Do they have the adapter kit? Uh, of course it does. And it's got a really, really nice big head card on it. Alright, we don't need to really be doing this, but anybody up for a third combine? I'll have to run in back and see if anyone's in there and I'll talk to him. Yep, it's going well. Yeah, we totally did it. Just straight up and did it. Went, signed the papers, bought it. We have three combines now. I already have two grain cart deals lined up and no leads on the semi right now, but that could change. So with our three combines, we're going to be covering a lot of acres. I don't even remember the number. It. Uh, we decided it was dry enough to plow, so I've got my guys doing that. And then I'm going to bring the disking tractor up to get one of the grain carts because no one else is there to disk. And I'm not disking right now because we have more done than we need to be. And we're just going to catch up with ourselves. Yada, yada, yada. You get the idea. So we're going to bring this combine back to the farm, park it, put everything back where it needs to be. So uh, my friend Brian already came out and looked at the header, said it's fine, that's all good. It just looks weird to me because I'm not used to it, because this is the machine I'm used to, and this is the header I'm used to, and all this kind of good stuff. So I'm glad we were able to run this machine 9510 with a Mar uh, topper and a 6 row corn head, 25 foot bean head. I think we're pretty well off as far as harvest goes. No, I am not spending any more money on combines. We have three. So, we have got to go pick up a grain cart, because like I said, I had two lined up. Uh, one of them we're still thinking about, I told them, but the other one we definitely want. So, we're going to pull out of here with our 49.55. Ow, that was a large pump to take in this old of a tractor, but it's fine. So, with our 49.55, we're going to carefully pull out. And then we'll gun it, and we're going to get there, grab the grain cart, head back, and get ready to start planting almost. I got a lot plowed today. Oh my gosh, that noise. Something's wrong with this. I have to get it fixed. But got a lot plowed, and quite a bit is uh, this now, too. Well, guys, I sincerely hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed making it. It was a whole, whole lot of fun. That's a grain cart, by the way. So, we're going to wrap this up for today. If you enjoyed, be sure to comment, share, like, and subscribe. I need to turn the lights off in here. And that'll help the channel out greatly. Right now, we're, I don't know that you'd say struggling, but, well, I don't know. It's going to help the channel out. So, we're going to get done disking by the next time I see you. And hopefully that is tomorrow. I don't know what day this is coming out. I know it's... Saturday, as I'm still filming this. Friday and Saturday was when this one was filmed, so. It's a beautiful farm. Got a beautiful setup here. Let's make it happen.